This is the Catholic Daily Journal for Friday, May the 24th, 2019. It's the feast day of Our Lady Help of Christians. The title goes all the way back to St. John Chrysostom around the year A.D. 345. It was a favorite of St. John Bosco, Pope St. Pius V, and of Pope Leo XIII. She was the major rallying cry of the defense of Europe against the Muslim invasions in the Middle Ages. The spiritual aspects of the feast are twofold. First, you have the internal help of Our Lady in the soul of the believer. Mary, pray for me that I may resist sin, mediocrity, cowardice. And then you have the external help of Our Lady against the enemies of Christianity, be they individuals, like heretical priests on Twitter, for example, or organizations, movements, even nation-states. Prayer for the salvation of one's enemies and for their defeat can seem a bit like a contradiction, but we have to remember that the church's mission is salvation, not the Hallmark Channel. It's easy to get sidetracked into praying for success in this world or for freedom from some suffering and to forget that Jesus wants folks to get to heaven. Sometimes the best way to do that is encouragement and instruction. But more often than not, the best way to get folks to heaven is to endure trials and tribulations, which free us from our own sense of self-reliance and cause us to repent of our sin and ask the Lord for his mercy. It's not for nothing, after all, that Jesus suffered for us, rather than just twitching his nose like Samantha or snapping his fingers like the Avengers. Today, back in 1830, Sarah Josepha Hale published a poem which was a redrafting of an earlier poem by John Rolston. Rolston was in a college prep program with his uncle, and he was visiting an elementary school where he witnessed show and tell. One of the girls, a Mary Sawyer, brought in her pet sheep, which caused a bit of a ruckus, and Rolston wrote a poem about it. Sarah Hale was compiling her book of nursery rhyme poetry and modified Rolston's poem to read, Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. He followed her to school one day that was against the rule. It made the children laugh and play to see the lamb at school. Lowell Mason set the rhyme to its music a few years later, but the poem came to life today in 1830. It's the birthday of Queen Victoria, the 19th century regent for whom an era is named. She was queen for an astounding 64 years. And that would be even more impressive had not Queen Elizabeth II of the UK not just passed her a few years ago. Victoria was born in 1819 and oversaw the wildly turbulent years of industrialization, scientific advancement, colonization, military expansion, and political upheaval in world history. She was also a voracious writer whose journal ended up being 122 volumes in length. Sources close to the Queen argue that she wrote, at minimum, 2,500 words per day, longhand, with a quill pen. For perspective, that's roughly five single-space, 12-point font typed pages. And she wrote that daily to compile 122 volumes of a private journal. The entire effort was edited and published and can be read today online. My favorite Englishism is attributed to her, albeit without any real evidence. She may or may not have said, We are not amused. And finally today, it's the birthday in 1879 of H.B. Reese, the creator of Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and the even better Reese's Peanut Butter Easter Eggs. Some people just deserve more praise than I can give. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.